Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars, and this is Disclosure. You're looking at Curiosity Soul 120, Mars Science Laboratory 120. These three are the originals. I'm just going to touch on them briefly. Take a look at some things up here. You can see the stuff is visible. We're going to uh, look at the mods in order to have clarity. There's a stem and a leaf. Here's an interesting object. This is an obvious plant with a stem and then a leaf. It's kind of bent over this slab. And about the slabs, uh, this is strange. Apparently this is a pile of rubble. That's what it appears to be. Why else would a perfectly flat slab like that be sitting there? Alright, uh, there's the same slab, but different angle. Again, there's some vegetation up at the top. We're going to go over this in detail. I'm not going to do much until we get to the mods. Here we have a low creeping vine that's actually creeped over an object along with some rocks. Very, very fascinating. And again, more plant growth. Here's an object that is similar to something I saw in the Spirit uh, Mars Exploration rover photos. Except it seems to project up through like a slab or something. Interesting object. I think I called it Gizmo. Here's a small plant right in here. Okay, I'm going to close this out, and we are going to look at, in depth, these three photos. They're fascinating photos. I'm just enthralled with them. Okay, let's get started. This is a really fascinating photo. Now, um, up here, right at the edge as usual, there's an interesting, fascinating object. It appears to be a cable or a pipe. I can't tell which. Maybe it's just a vine. It's right up the top here, and as usual, they don't get close enough to it to give you a really good look, because they don't want people saying, hey, what the heck? Uh, other than that, not too much up there. Now, this is an interesting deal here. Kind of segmented, almost looks like a pipe. And there's an end here. And the segments go over here. I may not, I'm thinking not a pipe, but it appears to be artificial. Maybe some kind of a barrier. Now, in this area, you can see the ground cover is all over the place. Uh, kind of a pale white green. You're certainly not seeing sand. If you look closely, it's possible to see the uh, pattern. Make sure you drag and drop the photos and examine them from Snake and the Hunter Enterprises. So that's the best way to look at this. It loses integrity when I record, so you're better off opening those in a viewer. Now here's the slab again. I don't understand that. It's got to be rubble. I think this is basically an area of rubble. But here's the most interesting thing obviously a plant. It's uh, got a stem. I'm going to state this clearly from the debunkers. Plants don't have stems. Plants don't have stems. Plants don't have stems. Write that down a thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand times if you have to. 
I'll explain to you debunkers what a plant is if you don't know. But I would think you would at least know that. I had the debunker say, oh, it's a rock, you know, I'm showing clear, une unequivocal evidence of leaves. Still said it's a rock. Unbelievable. Okay, a uh, strange squarish object, like a post or something, squarish on top and sticks up. Artifact. Interesting artifact. Don't know what it is, other than it's an artifact. This whole area appears to be basically some kind of rubble field. There's something right on the side. Don't know what it is. But the main object in my mind in this photo is this one. This plant. I'm just enthralled with it. You know, you can see the stem clearly. And that rules out the yield rock explanation. There's some who will say it's a rock no matter what. It's a pre-programmed robotic response, apparently. And we have this uh, small ground cover you see in here. And the uh, kind of mossy ground cover that I've nicknamed Terra Induco Minimus, which just means small ground cover. Terra Induco Minimus. Green's all over the place. And <laughs> some of these uh, plants seem to like to grow on rocks. And I'm stumped as to why that is. Well, it's not unprecedented on Earth. It happens a lot. Okay, we'll go to the next slide and take a look at the prized photo. Uh, here's the, those cables I mentioned again. See so, you how know, that one goes right through there, and another one goes right into the shadows. Maybe another one up on top. What are cables doing in a Mars photo? Well, all right, we'll go to the next slide. All right, we're locked and loaded. Slide number two. Up top here, we see the green, dark green, of photosynthetic plants. Nothing I haven't seen before. Some of the mossy stuff. Which is a huge number of them. Um, some are rock objects, obviously. Some are not. There's too many of them to go over them individually. Here's an interesting, see how this is all fuzzy and stuff? Very, very fine, articulated growth of some kind. It's actually so fine that it's transparent, or translucent at least. You can see right through it just about. Like a, maybe a feathery flower, I don't know. But at any rate, it's not uh, right. But here's the primary, besides the interesting rubble right there, there's that slab again, which I can't explain. Here's an interesting feature of this photo. Here we have this blue-green ivy-like plant. It's a creeper. It uh, creeps over here. Creeps here. But look at this. The shadows are kind of cast away from the camera so you can't see them. But it goes up and over this object, let's just call this a rock because I can't see it. Is this uh, ivy or vine or whatever it is goes up and over it and down the other side. Goes up and over and down the other side. That's bizarre. Let's 
also an indication that we're seeing an ivy or vine type plant where there isn't supposed to be any on Mars. And there's leaves all over through here that are relatively easy to see. Make sure you drag and drop onto your uh, desktop or folder. There's a plant sticking up. It's kind of all through there, that little area. Creeps along on the ground through this uh, area of rocks. Here's a stem sticking up where there isn't supposed to be any. Um, remember I uh, talked about that the square peg? Well, right there it is again. It's square on top and sticks right up on the ground. Fascinating object. It's indicative of some kind of uh, building grounds type thing. And take a look at this object while we're at it. This thing sticks up, but it's sitting on three legs. I don't believe it's an animal. I think it's an artifact. But it's bizarre. It's way up off the ground, and it sticks up on three legs. I don't know. If you're stumped, so am I. And here we have another odd object, artifact. There may be two parts to this. There's like a pipe or a rod or something laying right in the ground. And this thing sticks up. And it can't shadow here, so there's, this is sticking out of the object. Totally bizarre. I'm sure there's an explanation. Well, it's not a rock. That's about it for this photo. Um, like I said, the main attraction to me is the blue-green ivy that we're seeing here. Ivy, vine, whatever it is. And you really need to take a look at that and say, hey, when are we going to get some answers? This is utterly ridiculous. You're seeing a plant here. Well, more than one plant, no doubt. And it's just absurd that I can't square up with us and tell us what it is they found. Why are they lying about life on Mars? There is life on Mars. I won't even listen to the propaganda anymore. Oh, we tell you you're seeing a rock, so you're seeing a rock. Screw that. I'm very sorry. That's not the way this works. Sci we cannot allow science to be science by decree. It has to be science by study. Science by decree is what these people are doing. Alright, we're going to go to the third and final uh, slide. I'm going to stop it and we we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. I'm hoping Obama doesn't get us blown up with this stupidity in the Middle East. The guy's unbelievable. Here we have, right next to this rock, we got like several shoots that are sticking up. Make no mistake, these are plant shoots that are actually kind of semi-translucent. Which is interesting. There's a small cluster of plants right there, nothing too substantial. And then you have something here that sticks up. I don't know whether that's a cable again or whether it's plant. And there's another one that runs right through here. And another one that runs through here. There's all sorts of they look like cables running through here. That is bizarre. Then we have this object. But here we have an object that 
is uh, most fascinating to me. I saw something similar in one of the uh, Mars Exploration rover photos. I believe it was Spirit. I don't know the soul. It's very similar. I call that one Gizmo. And this is... Got some kind of a layer or something up around it. I don't fully understand, but... Alright. Over here on this side... We got another cable. Apparently running through here. This is... A big debris field for the most part. And packed full of artifacts and like here's a rod that goes through here. And something is there where the little hand is. Other than that Let's see if there's anything else up in here. There's a series of odd objects right at the edge at the top. I can't get a good look at them because they're too close to the top. And that is a pity. That's the way it seems to work, though. Some of the most interesting objects are right at the edge of the photos. One strange one right there. Here we have a fascinating, I'm thinking this is a planet kind of arches up, sticks up on one side and sticks right up. That The profile there, the silhouette would be typical of a uh, plant of some kind. And this area down here is strewn with plants, but here we got two very interesting objects. This one is similar to the other one that I showed up there with uh, the silhouette. But here we have one, two, three, four, five. Five right in a row sticking up. Most logical idea that I can come up with is uh, that these are types of plants, uh, possibly a uh, type of Martian cactus perhaps. You know what cactus do, they store water for times of drought, right? If you have a cactus in your home, you want it to grow, try watering it about once a week. You want it to just sit there, don't water it for four months. It'll just sit there. Because it's conserving. Alright, but interesting, these are sticking right up and they kind of curve all in the same direction, which would kind of indicate to me they probably are a plant that's leaning towards the sun. The reason plants do that is sunlight destroys these chemicals called auxins. Auxins uh, aid with growth. So when sunlight destroys them on one side, growth on that side slows down. As a result, the plant leans towards the sun. That's about it. There's... Other things, look like cables running through here, too many of them to mention. Some possible leaf plants, right? In this area, I'm not going to go over them. But here's the point. There are obvious plants in these photos. You have been lied to. I've said this time and time again. You're being lied to about the surface conditions. You're being lied to about life. You're being lied to about a lot of things. So why aren't you people raising unholy hell about it? I'm just a guy with a computer who's studying these photos. But I'm, you know, red hot angry that the public isn't being told the truth about Mars. If there's a civilization there, and it's, uh, 
Andrew Basaggio, like I said, Andrew Basaggio uh, turning to say that there's a civilization there, I tend to believe it. And I can't think of any rational reason why the public shouldn't be told. It's not a valid military secret. There's some things that they do have to withhold from the public, and I understand that. Valid military secrets being the, about the only thing, as far as I understand. They have to have some leeway in testing weapons and stuff. I understand that. There's no excuse not to tell the public if we have contacted alien civilizations. No excuse that I would ever listen to. We have, you know, here's a cable running through here. It's just total nonsense, folks. There's life on that planet. There are artifacts. There probably is a limited civilization there. You are being fed a fantasy by the government. You're being expected to believe a line of BS. Bull slot. Barry Sotoro. That's about it. Uh, we'll see you next time. Study those photos. Drag and drop them. And go over them in grand and glorious detail. Without your pressure, we cannot advance and get the truth out of these sons of bitches. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Have a nice day. And work for disclosure. Thank you.